Welcome viewers, in this video we will see the design of ripple or synchronous counter. See the first problem. Subscribe the channel for more videos and notifications. Soft copy of this material available in the drive. The link is given in the description box. Now we will go to the topic. Design of ripple or synchronous counter. The first design is design BCD. Mod 10 ripple counter using JK flip flop. So this ripple or asynchronous counter means the operation is not synchronized. Synchronous counter means all the flip flop given the same clock pulse. We know that counter is made up of flip flop. All the flip flop receive the same clock pulse. In asynchronous counter, first flip flop will receive the clock pulse. Output of first flip flop is given as a clock pulse to the second flip flop. So the operation is not synchronized so that it is called asynchronous. Also called as ripple. Mod 10 counter means 10 outputs will be there. 0 to 9, 10 combination of output will appear. 10 to 15, remaining 6 outputs will not appear. That is called a mod 10 counter, only 10 outputs. For example, mod 5 counter means 5 outputs will be there. Remaining 3 will not available. Total, total 8 outputs, 5 will be appear, remaining 3 will not appear. Mod 10 means out of 6, that is 16. 2 to the power 4, 16 combination, 0 to 9 will appear, 10 to 15 will not appear. That is called a mod counter. Similarly, we have mod 5, mod 6, 7, 9 like that, counters are available. So, in this problem, we need to design mod 10 counter. We are going to use the JK flip-flop. First step, determine the number of flip-flops needed based on the combination. Mod 10 means we need to decide number of flip-flops. The BCD counter goes through 0 to 9, that is 10, total 10, that is from 0 to 9, that is total 10 states are available. So, n equal to 10 here, n equal to 10. So, 2 to the power n greater than or equal to n, so, this is the condition, this n is the number of states, this small n is the number of flip-flop. So, by satisfying this condition, we can decide the number of flip-flop. So, we know that n equal to 10. 10 states are there, 0 to 9. So, we will take, we know that 10 state means norm automatically the 4 digit, 2 to the power 4, 16 combination. So, n equal to 4, we will take n equal to 4. So, 2 to the power n greater than or equal to n, that is 2 to the power 4 greater than or equal to 10, that is 16 greater than or equal to 10. Right? 2 to the power 4 is 16. So, this condition is satisfied. So, we need 4 flip-flops are needed. Right? First step, we need to find number of flip-flop that is identified from this condition. n is the number of states, small n is the number of flip-flop needed. So, now we need 4, four flip-flops are needed. The second step is type of flip-flop, which type we are going to use. In this problem itself, it is clearly given JK flip-flop. If it is not given in the problem, we can decide according to our wish. But here it is clearly given JK flip-flop. Now we need to go for the truth table for the counter that is mod 10 counter based on the given problem we need to identify the truth table right. So this is the truth table available clock pulse A, B, C, D 4 digits. We need to find the output of reset logic because 0 to 9 we need the output from 10 to 15 we don't need the, we know, don't want the output. So we need to reset the, the flip flop. So that we need to identify what is the reset logic of y. So this is 0, clock pulse, 0, 1, 2, up to 9, right. So 0 to 9, 10 combinations are available. So we know that 4 digits are mean 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, like that it will go, right. So up to 0 to 9, we need the output. So this is called a valid states, 0 to 9, 10 combinations are valid state. From 15, from 10 to 15, remaining, remaining 6 outputs, we are not needed. So, we are giving only 10 clock pulse, thereafter clock pulse is not there. So, this combination 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, we don't want the output. So, this reset logic is 0. So, this is coming under invalid states, right, 0 to 9 valid states, 0, 10 to 15 invalid states. Now, we need to find the logical expression for this reset logic so that that can be implemented with the logic diagram right now we'll see the description available here 
the reset input clear of each flip flop is active low input by making clear input of all flip flop logic low we can reset the counter right so it is this given as a logic low this reset logic is designed such a way that for invalid states y equal to 0 so that the counter will reset right if y equal to 0 mean it will reset so after 9 it will reset to 0 again it will go 0 1 2 up to 9 right so 10 11 12 mean it will reset so 0 to 9 after that again it will go to 0 now we will see the logical expression for this logic, reset logic y using the Carnap map. So this is the Carnap map for finding the logical expression of reset logic y. Right? There are four variables available. We have four variables came up. A, B, C, D. So D is the MSB, A is the LSB. So that we take D, C available in vertical manner. B A available in horizontal manner. Totally four variables. D C two variable four combinations. We know that 0 0 0 1 1 1 0. There is a interchange between third row and fourth row. 0 0 means D da, D dash C dash. 0 1 means D dash C. 1 1 means D C. 1 0 means D C dash. C bar. Similarly, B A two variable four combinations 0 0 0 1 1 1 1 0. So B bar A bar B bar A B A B A bar. Right. Now in this logic we know that this is a min terms 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15. There is a interchange between third column and fourth column. Similarly, third row and fourth row. We know that it is a mod 10 counter from 0 to 10, 0 to up to 9, the inputs are 1. This 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 are zeros, right? So by using the min term, we can, we can easily put the 1, 1 as a logic height in this k map. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So totally 10 outputs are we need. So it is, it is marked as 1. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 are not needed. These 6 inputs are marked as 0. Now we need to group the cells in order to identify the logical expression. So here the 8 ones are available. So these 8 ones are grouped together. These 2 ones are grouped by top and bottom. These 2 ones and these 2 ones are grouped together. So totally 2 groups are available. Grouping 8 cell, grouping 4 cells. So while grouping these four cells, sorry, this eight cell, we need to refer corresponding first row, second row. Similarly, corresponding first column, second column, third column, and fourth column. So while referring the first row and second row. So while referring first row and second row, D bar, C bar, here D bar, C. So C, C bar got cancelled. Only D bar is available. Right? That is written here. What about these columns? All are cancelled. B bar, A bar cancelled by B A. B bar, A cancelled by B A bar. Right? So all these four terms are cancelled. Only these two terms in that C dash also cancelled. C C dash. So that only we got D dash. D bar. Right. Now we will see grouping of these two, these four cells. We have to refer the corresponding first row and fourth row. Similarly, first column and second column. First, we will refer the first row and last row. D bar, C bar. D, C bar. So, C bar is available commonly. D bar, D got cancelled. Only C bar. The C bar is written. Now, we have to refer the first column and second column. B bar is available commonly. A bar, A got cancelled. So, B bar. So, grouping these four cells, we got C bar, B bar. So, the reset logic Y equal to D bar plus C bar into B bar. So to implement this, what we need is we need one R gate. For this C bar and D bar, we need one AND gate. AND gate will multiply C bar and D bar. By using one more R gate, we can add these two terms. That is given as a reset of the four flip flop. So that it will go from 0 to 9. When it goes to 10, it will reset the flip flop. Again, it will start the 0. Now we will see the logic diagram. So 
so this is the logic diagram so the four we already decided the four flip flops are needed a b c d so this is the output a b c d msb d is msb a is lsb right we are already know that jk flip flop we are using jk so all this flip flop is given logic one logic high high input is given for the all flip flop j as well as k j a k a j b k b everything receive the high output logical high output is given to the all four jk flip flop what is the nature if the j k j and as well as k receive the high input it is it will toggle the output will toggle zero means it will goes to one one means it will goes to zero we know that we have present state and next state present state zero mean it will go to one present state one mean it will go to zero if both the inputs are one we know that both the inputs are zero means no change if k equal to one means reset zero j equal to one means set one both are one means toggle right so all the four flip flop jk type is given with high input both j and k you receive the logic high so every clock pulse the output will toggle so we will verify with the output and another thing is only this first flip flop receive the clock pulse second flip flop first flip flop output is the clock pulse of second flip flop second flip flop output is clock pulse of third flip flop third flip flop output is clock pulse of fourth flip flop right so this flip flop will toggle with every clock signal this flip flop will toggle based on the a value if a is 0 there is no change if a is 1 it will toggle and also here inverter is there so a is 0 means it will toggle 1 means it will not toggle 0 means while giving it become 1 so it will toggle 1 means it will not toggle similarly there b based on the b value the third flip flop will toggle based on the c value fourth flip flop will toggle right so flip flop a receive clock pulse always so every clock pulse the output toggles b c d flip flop based on the output this b flip flop based on the output of a it will toggle similarly c based on the output of b d based on the output of c right now we have the reset logic here the clear clear signal is available this is also inverted right so we already know that y equal to d bar plus c bar b bar right so c bar into b bar we have one uh, uh, not, not, and gate is available so c bar is connected and b bar is connected so it will give c bar into b bar that is connected to r gate with another input d bar so this is nothing but d bar plus c bar b bar this r this r gate will produce the reset logic y that is nothing but d bar plus c bar b bar that is given to the reset log reset clear button of all the four flip flop so what is the reset logic 0 to 9 it will give the signal thereafter it will reset so that flip flop again reset it will start from 0 0 to 9 10 means again it will goes to 0 to 9 right so this is the logic so that we will get the 0 to 9 mod 10 counter so in this video we discuss design of ripple or asynchronous counter mod 10 counter out of 16 outputs only 10 outputs will be available remaining on six outputs are not available so that is decided by the truth table by reset logic we design the reset logic truth table is given 0 to 9 1 10 to 15 0 so based on that by using k map we got the logical expression y and that is implemented with the logic diagram Subscribe the channel for more videos and notification. Soft copy of this material available in the drive. The link is given in the description box. Thank you for listening.